stay in Warsaw, though, and speak to Marcin Makowski. He's from, he writes for Dorzeczy, which is a conservative weekly newspaper. Marcin, I want to pick up with you where Joanna just left off. Um, the issues of the LGBTQ community in Poland was really playing one of the crucial issues during this election campaign. Um, do you think, Andrzej Duda, given that he was doing so much better in the polls at the beginning of May, do you think he, he made the wrong call by saying that the LGBT ideology was worse than communist doctrine? Of course, that for, for, for polls, comparing anything to communism is, is really insulting, it's very painful. It's really hard to say and to judge how those words influence the late poll and exit polls uh, of the current result because we are still unable to say who's going to win this election. It's far beyond the margin of error. But those words, of course, was polar, were polarizing and one of the key points uh, over the debate that we are having in Poland right now. But this debate is far more complex that, than someone from uh, abroad uh, might see when they are watching Polish uh, elections because, for example, Rafał Trzaskowski, the candidate that is uh, depicted as somehow liberal and progressive, is also against, uh, for example, uh, the adoption for the same sex uh, couples and also wasn't really clear about if, if he's going to be in favor of same sex marriages in Poland. Uh, so, this division is not between someone who is extremely left wing and progressive in Poland and would like to allow for every LGBT rights to, to be implemented in Poland versus someone who does not allow those kind of people to have any kind of, uh, any kind of more independence uh, that they are having right now according to Polish constitution. And that's also how hard it is to, uh, to summarize the Polish election right now only using those words like nationalist government or centrist or uh, liberal. Uh, opposition because it's more in between larger cities and rural areas uh, than uh, some key points from the ideology uh, universe uh, that we are speaking right now. Uh, this is, in my opinion, much more complex issue. And so what about the issue then when it comes to Poland's relationship with the EU? Because uh, Law and Justice, Prawo i Sprawiedliwość, had quite a, a fractious relationship with Brussels. Um, Rafał Trzaskowski, in fact, worked on Poland's accession to the EU. So arguably uh, f far more and also was an MEP, far more pro-EU. How will it play out um, with the relationship between Poland and Brussels, depending on who does eventually win this election? Of course, Rafał Trzaskowski is much more pro-European Union candidate than Andrzej Duda. Andrzej Duda, from this perspective, is much more pro-transatlantic uh, relations with the United States of the America, uh, one of the pupils of, of uh, uh, President Donald Trump, as we've seen before, uh, just briefly before the first uh, turn of the election he was in. The Washington for another time and Rafał Trzaskowski was, as you mentioned, of course, uh, one of the key players from the civic platform in a matter of uh, negotiating with European Union uh, and he has a lot of experience in that area. So we might uh, summarize this as, uh, as a really pro-European Union candidate that might still win because we are still counting the votes and a candidate that is not against European Union as a such but more uh, European uh, realistic as uh, Andrzej Duda is describing his politics. Uh, so European Union and Brussels uh, would, not, would, would like to be watching uh, this turnout of the election in this longest night of the politi Polish political cycle today uh, with uh, intensity and a uh, little bit maybe uh, hope if Rafał Trzaskowski is going to win. Marcin, it's always really good to get your views. My thanks to you, Marcin Makowski from Dorzeczy uh, Conservative Weekly Newspaper. And yes, we're continuing to monitor uh, everything going on in Poland after that, uh, those exit polls.